Welcome back to Child Time Pod. It's your host, Red. Got a video today from Alaudi. He didn't find her attractive, but she couldn't handle it. Please like them below. I really appreciate that. Let's that child. It's child time. It's one race you wouldn't date. I'm not into black women. Oh. oh. <laughs> Why is this always the answer? I need to know this right now. So you think... Because it's the answer. Men's preferences are not black women. There's many variety of answers, but every time we say it, we're racist and we're sexist. You guys are loud. You guys are aggressive. You guys are quite overweight. And you guys don't have father figures in most of your homes. I think I'm ugly. No, that's not it. You're conventionally a very pretty girl. It's just a preference. I actually tried to kind of see a black girl for a little bit, but I literally, I just couldn't, like, get into it. Like, I mean, if a girl's half, it's different. But, like, a girl who's, like, fully black, I just, for some reason, it's just... So it's just, like, a preference of skin tone. So you don't like black people. No, I love wow. black people. But I'm just not attracted sexually to black women. Race. What's one race that Crazy you wouldn't thing. date? Definitely Caucasian men. Totally understand. So you don't like white people. You see, instead of him... And he's... A, 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 he totally understands. Hell, I can understand if people don't like dark Asians. It makes sense. Saying that, he said, I totally understand. Why couldn't you do that? I mean, listen, bro, from what I'm seeing right now, he just stated his preference and she stated her preference. But we all know and we can see it that she looks a little bit about her about what he said. He's like, how dare you say something like that? Men should not have a preference nowadays. <laughs> Men should accept women as they are, as they come, because women are a package. Fellas, if you ever hear some bullshit like that from a woman, get away from her right away. as soon as possible. Because women like like that like to be in control and that's a huge red flag in a woman women that are control freaks tend to be aggressive combative and chaotic so stay away from women like that are you kidding me you didn't empty the dishwasher that's the one thing i asked you to do today we have two dishwashers are you referring to me as your dishwasher yeah you the other one babe hey babe 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 babe, babe. hey you also the laundry Jason. <laughs> useless see women go to sporting events just to pick up men they don't even care or know what's going on her breath smelled like straight up shit go to a, a, a restaurant where a glass of wine is twenty dollars you will find somebody worth your while because there's no street niggas going there for twenty dollars a glass of wine yeah the types of guy that she wants doesn't even want it. those are some of the most professional players on this earth where'd you get that from Nicole, I'm talking about your smile. Where are you getting? No, no, no. Where'd oh. you get that smile from? Um, my mom. <laughs> oh my God. What's okay, your so name? The oh. ah. Ah. These 304s. He just gave her a single compliment. She kissed him right away. Is that how it is out there, guys? Fuck. Maybe I should start fucking putting myself out there more. <laughs> You're my first person I kissed on the lips. Really? Yes. So. Yeah, es que eres lengua, verdad? No, yo quiero más de lengua, papi. ¿Qué quieres? 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 ¿Qué Women, it's, I'm sure it's enjoyable for the men that you're saying all these things to, but most of these men will never wife you up when you say shit like that. And she got all naked pictures, right? Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to address her sexually because she got all naked pictures? Wholeheartedly. No. <laughs> Nigga, what the fuck? I'm all I'm saying is, so what are you going to Okay, so let me ask you this. If you go to a relative's page and you see all houses, you're going to ask that nigga, do you sell cars? <laughs> Exactly, you're not, bro. I mean, it seems to me like she's the only one with common sense on that podcast. If a woman is sexualizing herself on social media, she's looking for validation and attention. And I tell you all the time to stay away from those types of women. Don't get in a serious relationship with them. Practice your English. I say red, you say blue. Hi, can I help you? Blue. My man. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I just ate first. I love 
Change for a woman, and she'll change you for another man. You know what I'm saying? Stay woke in these streets, lad. Big brr. You was the fuck me, you giving me back shots, or you doing missionary? Neither. Neither. Do you drink liquor? Nah, no, no, not really. Like, it depends, like, on occasion with my mama and shit. With your mama? So when you out doing hosts no, and shit, y'all? You know? no, 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 no. Okay, so do you do drugs? Mm -hmm. So you just a boring ass nigga? Just because men don't do drugs doesn't mean we're boring. Why does drug has to be involved in everything? Is that what it is nowadays? Everything has to be high, drunk, or whatever it is? Like I said, I enjoy the devil's lettuce occasionally. But I'm not out there trying to fiend it for it or anything. It's crazy. Yeah. I like a nigga that I can have fun with. What you do? What you, what you be draining a lot? What you mean? Have no, I'm saying, you know, what do you, no, you what got, else, you what else? Drugs, no, you don't, you don't. So what else makes you happy, like? This generation will call you lame and boring if you don't do drugs or you don't drink because that's how they have fun these days. I don't drink. I have been called lame many a times for not drinking. It's never made me drink. <laughs> or you can have fun without Bucket. drinking, smoking, or doing drugs. And this man right here was raised right, and he sounds healthy in his mental state. Where should a man take you for a first date? What, what, You're where? the man. I want you to ask me on a date. Shit. Where are we gonna take? I don't take women on dates. Why not? I take y'all to my car. Oh, that's fun too. Let's go. Yeah, you done? Yeah. All right, let's go. Okay. Come on. All right, bet. <laughs> women. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> like that's how 304 they are nowadays, guys. I just want everybody to know that my wife is a bitch. A beautiful, intelligent, talented, caring human. You were way too close to the stairs to call me that word. I, but I told you what it means. Mm -hmm. And they're all After true. After saying the and word the, itself and they're to all me, true. your wife. It's not a word. It's an acronym. I think that's an acronym, right? Yeah, it's an acronym. Logic, know, lady. Logic. logic. Do you? Boy, oh boy, you are risking it for it's the biscuit today. It's a compliment. It's a compliment. And look at her. For him to just say call her a bitch, she threatens the man. This is where like the analyzation of red pill comes in. She threatened him. She literally said, you are too close to the stairs to be saying that to me. Pretty much saying, I would have pushed your ass down the stairs if you didn't clarify that. Man. It's a compliment. Take it. Walk away from the stairs. Now imagine a man saying that to a woman when she asks us a stupid question. You gonna take it. Look, I know my worth, but sometimes I go on sale. <laughs> yeah, let me guess. Three nine Chad and Tyrone. That's the most contradiction, hilarious sentence that I've ever heard in my life. My lover. Are you eating fucking shit? Are you eating shit? So is this straight out your ass or some shit? This gotta be like straight out her ass into the bowl. What you mean you don't want this baby no more? Young lady, this baby didn't choose to be here. You gotta understand. Once you lay down and open your legs to these little boys and bring this baby into this world, this becomes your responsibility. All your life is over. You gotta do this stuff for her. You just can't give her up for adoption and say you don't want her to vote. This not how this life work, young lady. I'm your father. I'll help you out with the baby. But I'll be damned if you let this baby go and go give her up for adoption like that. You don't do that to your child. You gotta understand you can't have fun no more. You are an adult now. Back in my day, when you had a baby at 16, 17, 15, you are an adult now. So you gotta grow up. You just can't go out here and just say, oh, fuck, I give up. You can't give up on this baby. This baby didn't choose to be here. This baby didn't choose to be here. And if the little father don't help, I got you. I got you. But I told you when you first got pregnant, I said, but you had that baby. Ain't no going back. Shout out to the father. He gave her enough lessons. I got it. You sure? Yeah, I got it. Yo, I thought you was a lawyer. Oh no, <laughs> I'm a lawyer. You ready? Yeah. Do not trust a man. Listen, my even my ex, he used to put, just give me a credit card. And when we broke up, he took his credit card, everything. What if I did not have my career? Girl, you said a bunch of nothing. You're just yapping about nonsense. Independent and strong women. Zero brain cells. So, I told my girl to book our flights. Here she is, in first class. 
Here I am going to the back. I thought I'm booking for Mexico. Wow. Man. Really? She booked herself first class with your shit? And she booked you coach? Damn. I'm still going. Why are you still 14, with her? 15. Excuse me. I would have dropped 20, her ass as soon as I saw those tickets. 25. California. 27. 30. 32. 32 F. Here we are. Thank you so much. Yeah, if we were going on vacation, I would still go on vacation. She just doesn't get to go to my Airbnbs or any of my hotels or anything. You're just a, you, you, good luck on your vacation, girl. I'm glad enjoy your first class. No time for me as a day. At least it's a window seat. You know what I'm saying? Men like him are just too big of simps. Look at him, just kind of like taking it and kind of making light of the subject. Yeah, bro, I don't know who's gonna tell you that that is not your girl. He's for the street. Hey, babe, I shaved. You know what that means? I'm gonna go unclog the shower drain again. Ah. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Well, I'm gonna head up. <laughs> that means you got a forest down there, girl. Hey, I can't lose when I'm with you. I just can't snooze and miss the moment. Just too important. Nobody do body like you do. <laughs> Is that scissor? Scissor? Hell yeah, that's scissor. <laughs> I couldn't think of nothing else to say to you. You fine as hell. What's your name? Thank you. I'm Lita. Lita? Nice you said Lita? Lita. Lita? Oh, okay, then what you cooking in here? Some soul food. You got canned greens. This just ain't soul food. It's canned greens. Man, she used to let me cook for you sometime. You know I'm a you chef. Know. Yeah. My name is Chef Huber. They call me Chef Huber, though. All right. Trying to get your phone number, though, so we can, like, so I can cook for you sometime. I like to eat. That's fine. You like to eat? Yeah. I can tell. Like, who eat? Okay, you cooking for one person? Okay, cool. You ain't got no man. Why are you single, man? The dating world is crazy right now. The dating world is crazy right now. Men ain't shit. Men ain't well, shit. Men ain't <laughs> <laughs> and what are you? <laughs> huh? Shit. You're the shit. That's why it smells in here. Smells <laughs> like shit. What makes a woman the shit? What makes a bad bitch? Moral values. Moral values. So you never suck a dick the first night you met the dick? <laughs> you never fucked the first night you met? You never had a one night stand? Shut your moral value dumb ass up, bitch. <laughs> See how bitches they talk, man? They talk. It's after they suck the dick, like, you know what? I'm no more. <laughs> I'm a bad bitch. <laughs> yes, uh, we got the pictures, bitch. Don't she worry. Said. You see, women with that mentality are all single until they reach 35 or 40 then they start wondering and asking where all the good men are yeah when you reach that age i think you should just start investing in cat food shout out to Alati. you know again we just watch videos and these women just tell on themselves ladies keep doing it please subscribe down below i really appreciate it i'll catch you guys next time ciao